David Ossubel's Subsumption Theory, presented by Josephine Reddington. David Ossubel was born in 1918 in Brooklyn, New York. He attended the University of Pennsylvania, where he first received his bachelor's in pre-med and psychology. He later attended Middlesex University, where he earned his medical degree and then went on to receive his Ph.D. in Developmental Psychology through Columbia University in 1950. David also served in the military through the U.S. Public Health Service. He then eventually devoted all of his time to psychiatric practices, where much of his work was influenced by Piaget's cognitive development work. His work also showed commonalities with Gestalt theories, schema theory, and Brunner's spiral learning model. David Ossie Bell was mainly concerned with how people acquired knowledge. He said that people acquired knowledge primarily by being exposed directly to it, rather than through discover. An area of study that Ossie Bell is commonly known for is his subsumption theory. This is the idea that people's existing cognitive structure is the principal and most basic factor that influences learning and retention of meaningful new material. In other words, people are better able to learn and form new memories by connecting the new information to background knowledge they already have. Subsumption theory is best applied through what Asun Bell called advanced organizers. Using advanced organizers is a method that helps students recall old information that is related to the content about to be taught in order to help them attain the new information and remember it. An example of an advanced organizer would be having students read an article on the types of food we eat as humans the night before the food chain is then taught in class. The advanced organizer in this scenario would be the reading article. This reading article allows students to be focused on related information that they already know and understand. That way, when class comes around the next day, their brains are prepared to then add to and extend this food-related knowledge. The subsumption theory can be applied in the classroom through the use of advanced organizers. Some examples of advanced organizers would include studies, reading articles, discussions and discussion questions, and the opportunity for students to make predictions. All of these activities allow students to recall their background knowledge in order for them to then connect this information to the new information being taught. 